Hi guys, Turbo Logo here. Welcome back to the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil game. We're going to do another nation here today for you guys, and it is QA, a one that I haven't actually done before on this channel. I've never featured them before, so I figured I'd try them on the 2014 game. They are a two star nation. They qualified once back in 1982, only pick up, picking up one point against Czechoslovakia in their group and losing to France and England in their group. They haven't featured at the World Cup since, so I decided, yes, let's do Q8 today. A little bit of a funny story as well. I did actually try to record a run uh, literally about an hour ago uh, with this team, and um, it was a really good run, but the problem was the audio was absolutely terrible on my end, like my microphone and stuff. It didn't actually record the microphone properly, but um, I scored a really good goal, and you can view it here right now. I'll show you right now. can score from that range but he can he was a mighty hit he absolutely smashed it great goal he's miles out of he's got no right to score from there we can take another look at that wonderful goal so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. I just thought I'd show you that one before I delete the footage forever. I didn't want to lose that footage of that goal because it was a pretty good goal. So I have to do the run again. Hopefully this time we'll get some more blockbuster events like that in this gameplay. So let's go and find out what kind of group Q8 we'll get. So of course, like usual, we always randomize the groups. When we get to this stage, I put in a few teams in there as well that didn't actually feature in the 2014 World Cup just to give it a little bit of a mix up so we're going to shuffle it in three two one boom and we are in a group with Germany Angola and Zimbabwe so um yeah Germany tough team don't think I'm going to beat them Angola maybe and Zimbabwe again maybe so this is the Q8 lineup now because I literally did a recording of this about an hour ago I know the kind of players that are good, like the, the, I know the players that are pretty decent. So Nasser was pretty good when I used him, Mutawar was good as well, and there's one here, I think it's Al Ansari, this guy here, he's a bit of a beast, and there's, I think he's the one that looks like Socrates, um, the Brazilian legend, he actually does look like Q8's version of Socrates, he's big, he's powerful, he's got like the beard and the the curly hair combo, he's a really good player. Kicking off this World Cup campaign for Q8 is a match against Germany. I've had a few problems with Germany recently when I played them. I think going back to my New Caledonia run, which we did about a few days ago or something like that, uh, yeah, they destroyed me when I was New Caledonia, so they might do that here today. It's so frustrating that when I recorded my first run with Q8, that the audio basically didn't work properly. It's so annoying when stuff like that happens because it was a really good run. Tossed in by Germany. Keeper's got it. Yes, that's a nice touch by the keeper. I mean, it could have gone badly if he missed that one. Just got to be defensively sound if possible. We just need to frustrate Germany for our first match. That's how we're going to get decent form going into the last two games of the group stages. Oh, that's a good through ball. Here we go. Go on. Oh, that was a good save by Neuer, and Q8 could have got their first goal of the tournament. NASA coming very close there, a gap in the defence, and he exploited it very well. Just a shame that I couldn't really sort of set myself up as a corner to Q8. There's another chance here to try and get a goal. It's crossed in, and it's not headed, but we can strike it from here. And it, oh, it's a bit too high, that one. Well, we made it to half time and um, Q8, pretty decent defensive performance and a couple of shots on goal as well for, against Germany. It's just a case of keeping the stamina high so that we don't run out of stamina when Germany go for on goal with um, their obviously way better team. Okay, that's decent. Then I got thrown on the floor and finally it's a foul. I mean, usually I don't get those. The computer always gets away with stuff like that. We have a free kick. Q8 could score from here. There is potential. Our Enenzi to strike it from here. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. <laughs> that was pretty close. Oh, that was a good touch. All right. Here we go. Oh, yes. Go, 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 go. Nasser. He chips Neuer, but he doesn't work. Header. 
Oh no! Oh, QA came very close to taking the lead against Germany. Imagine. That was a great tackle, but I got caught on him for somehow. And how is that foul, ref? I don't understand. Literally, all we did was just grind up against each other. It wasn't even doing anything, you know. We're just grinding, you know. We're just grinding against each other. You know, Q8 and Germany love each other. But, no, no the referee's like, none of that, please. We're at the World Cup, and um, I bet you Germany will score this free kick. It's Marco Reus. Of course he's going to score it. Yeah, I, I, how did I... <laughs> so BS, dude. We defended so well in that game. Yeah, thanks for not celebrating, Marco Royce. Again, he's done that to me in a couple of runs recently. If you watch my new Caledonia run, he had, he did score against me in that one. And, um, yeah, he did the exact same celebration. Good goal from Germany, but just so frustrating. Not like that, though. Yeah, well, great. <laughs> I mean, oh, so dumb, dude. I don't get it. Like, I made the pass, and it's not good enough. It doesn't reach his man, even though I put a million power on it. Literally, I hold the A button right to the end of the bar, and he underpowers it. What was that all about? But yeah, whatever. It's 2-0, and there's nothing we can do about it now. Yeah, all I can say to that is that uh, I'm getting fed up of playing Germany. I am really fed up of playing Germany. They're not going to be on my next run. They're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking them out. Well, despite the loss against Germany, we didn't actually lose too much form. So I'm doing a tackling drill to make us a little bit stronger against sides like Angola and Zimbabwe that we can hopefully now get wins against and then we can go through in second place because we all know Germany are going to win the group. Our second match of the group stage then is against Zimbabwe, a team that we should probably be beating. They lost their first match against Angola, so they'll be on bad form. So I hope that we can do well against them. I mean, we played really well against Germany, so there is a chance that we should... Well, we actually, yeah, we should be beating Zimbabwe. Here comes the defender now going forward. Good tackle, Al Mutawa on the ball, turns, shot, ooh, saved by the Zimbabwe keeper. It's a bit tricky to get past Zimbabwe's defence, I'm guessing because they're set up defensively, maybe, I'm not entirely sure. We header it in, yes, nice one. Who is that? It's Al Anenzi, the guy who I said was basically like Q8 Socrates, and um, uh, what was it? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I'm getting confused with like, all the players on the pitch. I, don't you just hate it when you tackle someone and it just pings straight back to someone else? So frustrating on any FIFA game ever. Look at this guy, he's just like, yeah, I, I hold off the ball. Here we go, Nasser's going through. Surely he can get a goal here. Turns, fires it, and oh, how did we... Oh my god, really? What was that, a shot or something? I'm not sure. But <laughs> I don't know what's going on, dude. Like, the erratic movement of the computer sometimes on the ball is so jarring. Like, sometimes you just can't tackle them just based off the fact that you can't predict where they're going to go. Right, well, corner to Zimbabwe. We just uh, blocked their cross. Not being a brilliant half. I mean, okay, we got the goal, which is obviously really good. But um, in terms of, like, our play and the tackling, the game's been kind of playing up in that regard. I don't know whether it's QA or whether it's the game. I'm not sure. Down to you. No, okay, cut out. And now we've got this spiel where Zimbabwe just literally do nothing with the ball for about five minutes. It really is just so frustrating when you've got um, a team that you can't basically tackle properly because the game doesn't allow you to. That was a great tackle, though. Here comes Nasser. Can he get the shot off? No, he can't because the game's like, no, not going to let you shoot. Alan Sari on the ball. Shot deflected. All my shots get deflected on this game. I don't know what it is, but the... Any kind of AI that you play against sometimes, when it's in this kind of mood, it's just a frustrating game. Oh, really? Come on. No! Oh, good defense. No! Oh, of course that would happen! Of course that would happen! So BS, dude, honestly. Oh, Zimbabwe have been garbage the whole match, and then they do that. I, I knew it. I called it halfway through the match. And we're going to go out here 
with a draw to our name against Zimbabwe. A terrible, terrible result for QA. Not what I wanted at all. Zimbabwe rescued it in the dying minutes of the game. We should not have thrown that away. That has really, really angered me so much. Ah, oh, I just cannot believe QA like let that result go. I know we're out of stamina and everything, but we were so much better in Zimbabwe. Now we're going to have to do another defending drill just to try and get the defense up again because we probably lost form because of that match because drawing against Zimbabwe, okay, like credit to Zimbabwe for getting that point back, but at the same time, I stand by my point. They were not very good throughout the entire match. We should have beaten them like 2 or 3-0. Our final match of the group stage is against Angola, one that we desperately need to win because we are at the bottom of the group with one point. Zimbabwe have one point in third. Angola are sat in second. And Germany, of course, are top of the table. So the good thing about this match is if we win this one, we could leapfrog everybody else and go second place because there's no way Zimbabwe are going to beat Germany. If they do, this game is complete like bs it really is like they can't i just can't like say it like the run will be over because of complete bs good ball and we scored but it's offside for christ's sake dude like marginally offside but yeah you know how this is alan sorry he's going for it yes nice one nice little dribble the guy was injured and Ansari scores for Q8, and it is 1-0. Finally, we get a goal, and that was actually a very convincing goal. We walked, we basically just walked past Angola. They did have an injured player on the floor, and this guy is too big and too tough to deal with for Angola. Nice little goal into the bottom corner. There is potential for Q8 to be good if we get into the round of 16. There really is. Like, we haven't lost a lot of form. We really haven't. The game's been kind of... Um, good to me. Good ball down to Mutawa. Back into the middle. We got to strike that. And it's in. What a goal that was. That was so good. Shaheen with the goal. And that's 2 0 in 44 minutes. And you have to say now that uh, Q8 have wrapped this game up or uh, pretty much wrapped it up. That was such a good move. Into the box. And it was just so silky into the top corner that was a nice strike really really nice strike as we go into half time we got a 2 nil lead and this is the q8 that i saw in my lost run before i did this one i mean i'm just hoping that zimbabwe haven't got a win against germany i really they, they, they better not honestly i know what this game is like so they better not be winning. Okay, Germany are winning. Only 1-0 though, so Zimbabwe are giving them a good game. Oh, that's a nice through ball. Can we score? Shot, and it's in. Nice one. That's Ali with the goal, and that is 3-0. Nice one, Q8. Well done. I'm so proud of them here because we could have easily lost this game, and this is what I saw from Q8 the first time playing them. And now this one is kind of like picked itself up and yeah, we're leading really comfortably and we should leapfrog Angola. Oh, great tackle. Nasser's going through. There's no one to stop him. Q8 could get there fourth, but the goalkeeper stops him. And shot. Oh, another save by the Angola keeper. So unlucky. And there we go. We have just won 3-0 against Angola. And Q8, by the looks of the celebrations, are through to the next round. And that is an incredible turnaround in this group stage. Losing against Germany. Drawing really badly against Zimbabwe. It was a really bad result. And then getting a fantastic result here against Angola. So we await our next round of 16 opponents. So checking out the round of 16 then. So we have England versus Q8. I always get England. Like recently I've been getting England or Germany in my groups and my runs a lot recently. I don't know why the game wants me to keep playing England and Germany. But anyway, uh, Ivory Coast versus Japan, Germany versus Honduras, Mexico versus Croatia, France versus Burundi, uh, Portugal versus Sweden, Iran versus Bulgaria, and Belgium versus Brazil. So I would, well, next to Burundi, I am the smallest team left in here. Let's see if we can produce a shock result against England. Well, apart from one player, we got our form back, so hopefully the attack can uh, hurt England here. It's not like England are the best 5-star team to run into. They are probably 
uh, one of the weaker ones, I'd say, out of the five-star teams you can run into. But that doesn't mean we can underestimate England, not at all. I mean, they've still got world-class players on the squad, and um, we need to be careful. Recently, though, I like I said at the start of the run, we have been playing better on this game, I feel. I want to say Q8 deserve it, but... I mean, the group stage was a little bit of a funny one. We lost against Germany, obviously. That's going to happen. But then the Zimbabwe match was really bad. I mean, really, really bad. And then we turned it around against Angola and had a really good result against them. So it's a bit of a mixed one, really. It's crossed in. And um, it's gone for it. And that was so sloppy to concede that. Adam Alana scores in the eighth minute. And, um, yeah, we've already conceded. Great. Thanks for that, England. Thanks. Oh, really? Just over the top and it just completely ruins my defence. Good save by the goalkeeper. Crossed in. Nobody's there. Oh, these headers, dude, honestly. You can't set your defence up to deal with a header. It always seems to just go completely wrong. Shot. Oh, okay. That was... Uh, I, I thought for a second England might have scored an absolute screamer against us. Shot, sure, and it's saved again. This first half has just been all about England. I mean, rightfully so. But still, I wanted something. I wanted something, dude. England are just set up so defensively when I try and push past the midfield. It's so tough to get past that midfield. Look, that, that there was just terrible defending. Like, the header just didn't come off properly at all. And we're getting, well, we're getting pressed back into our own box. Shot, and it's blocked by Phil Jones. I thought that I would have done better in this game, but it's just been one of those games where I just can't really do anything. Jermaine Defoe just skipped past me there, and he shot, and it scored. Oh, wait, was that Jermaine Defoe there? Oh, it's Ashley Young. Okay, fair enough. Ashley Young scores to make it 2-0, and frustrating as it is, England have been pretty decent defensively. Decent pass off. Decent strike. Oh, off the bar. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, we came close. Q8 almost scored goal of the tournament. Oh, my days. I mean, if we scored that, that would have been a great way to uh, lose, I guess. Here comes Jermaine Defoe. And, yeah, thanks for that game. See what I mean? Like, the, the goalkeeper saved it, but it bounced underneath his arm and went straight in. Like, how do the AI get this kind of luck? I don't understand it. Really, really terrible performance by Q8. I wouldn't say that we played well at all in that match. Not There was only one moment where we came close on goal, and that was obviously the strike from 30 or 40 yards out that hit the bar. But, I mean, England were just... Like, they were set up in a way where I couldn't get past their midfield, I couldn't get past their defence, so I had to keep striking it from distance. The goals we conceded were pretty sloppy, to say the least. The defending on the goals was not good enough. Um, compared to the, the defence we showed against Germany, where um, I'd say against Germany we conceded one legit goal, and then the second goal we conceded against them was um, a bit of a mix-up. But this one was a horrendous match. It really was. That was honestly a really frustrating match. But who wins the World Cup? It's Germany in the final. 2-1 against England. So, uh, yeah. I mean, two teams I lost with against, sorry, went on to play in the final. So, I guess that's kind of fair. Anyway, that was your run with Q8. I'm sorry that it wasn't really that exciting in some parts. Especially the England game. I felt like that was a very boring match. Um, but... At the same time, we got some nice goals in that one, and we almost scored an absolute screamer against England. So if you did enjoy this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.